Good afternoon. This is Pepper Pierce with your daily news updates. Here are today's top stories. China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi will travel to Washington, D.C. later this week to meet with Secretary of State Antony Blinken and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. The visit by the top Chinese diplomat comes as the Biden administration continues its engagement with Beijing following Blinken's trip to China in June. Wang's visit could help set the agenda for a potential meeting between Presidents Biden and Xi next month. The Israeli-Lebanese border saw further clashes over the weekend as Israel carried out a series of airstrikes against Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon. According to the Israeli military, they struck nine different Hezbollah squads preparing rocket and missile attacks against Israeli communities near the border. Israel evacuated another 14 communities near the Lebanese border on Sunday due to the heightened risk. This comes after over 28 other towns were cleared out last week. The Israeli military warned that Hezbollah's attacks risk dragging Lebanon into a wider war, as the Iran-backed group has opened up a new front amid Israel's ongoing operations against Hamas in Gaza. Tech billionaire Elon Musk weighed in on ongoing geopolitical conflicts, warning that they pose risks of triggering a third world war. In a discussion hosted on his social media platform X, Musk said clashes in Ukraine and between Israel and Hamas in Gaza could potentially escalate into global war if not adequately addressed. When asked about tensions between the West and adversaries like Russia, China, and Iran, Musk said, we do not have an overwhelming advantage in industrial might compared to a potential alliance between those countries. He argued that economic power, measured by things like weapons production capacity, is the foundation for war. These are your stories so far today up until now. Stay tuned tonight for more top stories. This is Volt News Network. Have a great day.